Hello everyone, welcome back to another GIS Mathematics lecture video. And in this video, I want to start our discussion of trigonometry. Now, if you've taken a class on trigonometry, hopefully this section is going to be largely review for you. But what I want to do is I want to phrase it in a way that makes it relevant to what we do with it in GIS. And that's that trigonometry is really a way of relating angles to distances. All right, and if you remember back to our previous discussion on angles, right, we had that idea of calculating arc length. Well, we can do the same thing in terms of straight lines by using concepts in trigonometry. And what I want to do in this video is I want to outline sort of the fundamental building block for what we're going to be talking about, and that's the right triangle. So hopefully this will be a review for you, and if not, then please make sure that you understand these concepts because they're going to be fundamental for the rest of this um, the trigonometry section. So what I want to do is I want to lay out let me actually do this with a straight line. What I want to do is I want to lay out a triangle. That has at its base. A right angle, right? And you remember that a right angle here is designated by this sort of quarter box here. So this is a 90 degree angle slash right angle. Okay, so hopefully this is a review. So the thing with a right triangle is that it has sort of opposite of the 90 degree angle here, it has what's called the hypotenuse. Right. And so the goal of trigonometry, if we label the hypotenuse C, this side A and this side B, and we have this angle here, and then we can have two other angles, right? We can have an angle here, which we'll call theta, and we can have an angle here, which we'll call phi. All right, so we have two angles and three sides, and then this third angle is 90 degrees for this particular form of trigonometry. And so what trigonometry tries to do is it tries to say, can we build relationships given the fact that this is 90 degrees, these two angles, and these three sides? Can we build relationships? And well, the answer to that is absolutely we can. So let's go ahead and redraw our triangle as the best we can here. And let's make that 90 degrees. Again, we're going to call this one A, B, and C. What I want to do is I want to talk about this angle in particular, which we're going to call this theta again, right? So what we can do is we can define what are called trigonometric functions. Right, that are going to relate this angle here to these sides here. Right, and so what we have to do is we have to convert our terminology a little bit. And we already kind of did that when we said that C was called the hypotenuse. And again, this is 90 degrees. Right? But relative to angle theta, right, we can also label A and B something. And the way that we do that is we label the side that is touching, right, touching the angle, this becomes the adjacent side. Because it's touching. 
where this touches the angle. Okay. So then if the other side, right, the side that's not touching the angle, this is called the opposite side. Right, because it's not touching or it's opposite the angle. So hopefully going from this designation up here to this designation down here, hopefully this makes sense because this is, again, kind of critical to being able to go forward. So for the angle here, theta, we now have an opposite side, an adjacent side, and a hypotenuse. All right. So now we can use these to develop these trigonometric functions. So what we can say is that we have a function called the sine, which relates the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. Right, and remember when I said before that trigonometry relates angles to lengths? This is what I was talking about. So sine relates opposite over hypotenuse. We have another trigonometric function called cosine, which is adjacent, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. And then finally, we have something called the tangent which is opposite over adjacent, right? So these three equations here, these are the three major trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. And they directly relate the angle theta to the lengths of a given triangle. So something to sort of help you remember this is there's a mnemonic, because I know personally I find sometimes like, okay, well, what's sine, what's cosine, and what's tangent? Well, there's a mnemonic. If we take the S, the O, and the H, so, and then we take the C, the A, and the H. And the T, the O, and the A. We get this thing called Sokatoa. Sine opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent, right? Sokatoa. So what I'm going to do in the next videos are go through some examples of actually calculating sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle given the sides of a triangle. Hopefully this made sense. Again, understanding this diagram right here, why this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side relative to this theta, and then understanding these three relationships are going to be critical to, to going forward in this section. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.